Hey guys, Bill here. This week I have a very interesting video that was submitted. I want to make sure to get his name right. Antias Iksan from Indonesia. Now, Antias came across a video that claims to show a crocodile trainer being killed by the very crocodiles that he cares for. But is this video real or is it fake? That's what Antias wants to know. The first thing I did was look at the video three or four times to see the basic material. On the surface, it looks pretty authentic. Typical grainy mobile footage shot in the vertical position. It shows a guy in a robe walking confidently among a dozen or so crocodiles for a few moments. He's holding a stick or something, so I'm assuming he's a trainer of some type. At one point, he even holds one of the crocodiles by the tail. But a few minutes later, he looks like he's on his way back out of the croc enclosure and crosses over one of the crocs. That's when the croc suddenly grabs him by the leg and the guy falls to the ground. We don't really see what happens next because somebody steps in front of the camera recording all this. When the view is clear again, the man in the black robe is gone. Now the video goes on for a couple more minutes, but we never see the man in the robe again. And that's what makes me suspicious about this video. I mean, don't you think it's just a little too convenient that a man steps right in front of the camera view at the moment of truth and the person holding the camera does not try to get around the man somehow to see what's happening? There's something fishy going on here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Leaving the video, I went over to the worldwide database for crocodile attacks and did an advanced search on this event. I couldn't find any mention of it. I then went to Snopes.com, but there was nothing there either. Nor was there anything on Hoaxer Fact or Hoax Slayer. I have to admit, I was a little stumped by this one for a little while, but then it occurred to me that maybe the best approach is the simple approach. What I did was I ran a Google News search on trainer killed by crocodile in three languages. And suddenly, there it was. A BBC News article from September 2013 with still pictures that looked like they came from the video I was researching. But hey, if you're thinking this is true just because the BBC reported it, remember that video we did a couple of weeks ago about the testicle eating fish? 10 newspapers reported it was true, but in reality, it was false. According to the article, the trainer's name was Dicko Toki, and he was a crocodile feeder at the presidential palace in a West African country called the Ivory Coast. The palace is not open to the public, but the lake where the crocs live is a tourist attraction. At about 5 p.m. every day, people pay to watch Dicko and his team feed live chickens to the waiting crocodiles. Okay, now I know this is kind of gross and you're probably wondering, hey Bill, why are you showing me this? Well, according to John James, who wrote the article for the BBC News, this is more than just feeding. This is partly a sacrificial ritual, which is tied very deeply to the dominant culture in this country. This ethnic group originally came from Ghana three centuries ago. They were under attack at the time, and to escape, they needed to cross a river filled with crocodiles. The queen sacrificed her only child to the river god, as the legend goes, and because the god was pleased, they were all able to cross the river on the back of crocodiles. So this is the reason why the presidential palace has a lake with crocodiles in front of it, and it's also the reason why this feeding ceremony is also sort of a sacrificial ritual reenacting the legend. Now, Dicko fed the crocodiles for over 30 years and was said to know each one intimately. He made a regular habit of posing for the tourists who liked to take his picture. In his article, Mr. James wrote, like many other Muslims that day, he was wearing a long robe but still kept his rusty machete in one hand. As he skipped over the last crocodile on his way to the barrier, the reptile caught hold of his robe. It wasn't anything he hadn't dealt with before, but on this occasion, he lost his balance and fell to the ground. 
Now you have to look closely, but here you see there was another crocodile at the water's edge. And this one was one of the biggest crocodiles in the lake. Once it saw Mr. Toki in a vulnerable position, it grabbed him and dragged him into the water and devoured him. Here we can see the giant croc mauling Toki in the middle of the lake. None of Mr. Toki's remains were ever recovered. Okay, now, I said just because it's BBC doesn't mean we should actually believe this is true. But buried in the article, there was a mention that there was a second camera at this event. I went crazy. I looked all over the internet, and guess what? I came up with the second video. The second video shows everything the first video shows. It even has Mr. Toki crossing over the crocodile and then falling to the ground. This camera pans away at the moment of truth, but I think that's just the natural reaction of the person holding it. Okay, now based on the fact that there were two videos covering the same event, and the fact that it would be highly unlikely that you would have two hoaxers operating at the same time, I'm declaring the video, Trainer Killed by Crocodile, to be, and you guessed it, real. And that, my friends, brings me to the question of the day. Why do you think none of Mr. Toki's remains were ever found? It seems a little bit mysterious to me. Let me know what your opinion is in the comment section below. And hey, if you've come across a picture or a video and you can't quite tell whether it's real or fake, send it over to Bill's channel at gmail.com or on my Facebook at facebook.com slash Bill's channel. And I'll see you again real soon.